guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by Gemma Jessup from Cherry Pop Game. So tell me a little bit about this game that Kevin and I just tried. We were running around a pitch um, in different headsets. What is it and what do you do? It is Football Nation VR um, and we are giving people the opportunity to play in the World Cup as though you're stood in Wembley as a professional football player running around in the atmosphere and everything of the World Cup in the comfort of your own home in a VR headset. Um, you can run, kick and do all the things that you would do in football, um, but obviously with your hands, <laughs> <laughs> not your feet. Uh, what was the inspiration behind going um, after this? Was it because the World Cup was happening or because you guys really love football or was it something that you thought, okay, let's expand on this because it's quite easy for us to do? Well, uh, Football Nation VR is born from VRFC, which was a product that we released, which is our first football product, which is five aside um, football, which was really simple and fun. Um, but we learned a lot from what the community had told us about that. We had loads and loads of feedback about what controls they wanted improving, that they wanted more people on the pitch, that they wanted more rules, and they wanted it to feel more like football. Um, so we spent a lot of time listening to the community, tweaking and rebuilding and in the end we changed the game so much that we decided to rebrand as such and launch it as um, Pool Nation VR with a whole new Russia 2018 World Cup edition um, with a new stadium, new rules, 18 people on the pitch, um, penalties, the lot. So it's giving gamers a completely new football experience. And all of the people or all of the nations that you get to play, are they actually in the World Cup? Yeah, yeah. so you can play as your country, um, wherever you want to play as, or even if you want to play as a different country, <laughs> they're all in there, no, no bias to anyone. So you all get to play, you get three points per win, um, and the more you play, the more points you're going to get for your team, um, and the more they're going to rise up the leaderboard. So there's a global leaderboard tracking the whole World Cup, um, and then at the end of the World Cup, we will see who wins and they will get a special trophy and golden boots. Golden boots? Yeah, golden boots. W what is the special trophy then? Um, just to say that they've won the world's first VR World Cup, basically. When is it going to be released? To which headsets? And how much is it going to cost? Um, it launches at the first week of June, um, a week before the World Cup starts. Um, and it launches on all three platforms at once, simultaneous as cross-play against PlayStation VR, Oculus and on HTC Vive. Um, and it launches at the same price as VRFC now, which is £14.99. Pounds. Fantastic. And that's, that's kind of like a worldwide thing. It's going like, to be released worldwide all yep. at the same prices. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be lots of competitions happening. Yeah, the summer, we're hoping so. We're really hoping that people get behind it and want to f play for their country and <laughs> really want to get involved with the teams and stuff. Um, and we've also done a lot of work on the team side of things because people have been requesting it from the community. Um, so once the World Cup ends, the community wanted the teams to stay. So the teams will stay, they'll be able to create their own teams, they'll be able to join teams, they'll be able to join members and actually build on the team aspect of the game once the World Cup's ended. So it's not going to be taken away from you and you're not going to have anything in place. You're actually giving them more. Where do we go to find out more information about the game? Okay, go ahead to at Cherry Pop Games on Twitter um, and Facebook slash Cherry Pop Games. And are you working on any other VR games as well besides this one? Um, we're hoping to bring out a whole series of nation sporting VR titles. Um, so there will be more coming, yes. The whole Olympics. <laughs> yeah, let's bring them all out. <laughs> Thank no you very problem. much for your time. No problems. Head Anytime. over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality, and I will see you there. Thank you. Thanks.